Hey guys, welcome back. This is gonna be an episode of One Man, One Leg, and One Brush. I'm planning to do a ton of rectangles on this. I'm not gonna be counting them, so chill out. <laughs> With that being said, I have a pretty clear plan on what I wanna do, so. Let's hop into it. I've already painted my little guy here black. It's an eight by eight and I'm doing color all over it. So here we go. When I started this painting, I just knew that I wanted to have some reds, whites, and yellows. I also knew that I wanted to bring them all together with these little rectangles. I started in the middle so I could work around it. And around this point, I started to think, hmm, this is becoming redundant and not really that interesting, but I didn't know what to do. And then all of a sudden here in a couple of seconds, I actually dropped my paintbrush. You're gonna see my hands kind of go, huh? <laughs> and rather than work against it, I turned it into that weird little Tetris shape and then I worked off of it. And then I started to add some more Tetris shapes into it. And I thought, hey, I like the way that there's those squares up and down in the middle, but then I also like the way that I've worked these shapes into it. And so I started to add them around it. And then I thought, hmm, Maybe I should just create some floaters and then work off of the floaters. And that way I can kind of create this spin that pulls you into the center squares that are horizontal and vertical. Also, I realized the canvas is slipping. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. And hopefully that's not gonna be a problem in the future. Anyway, if you're wanting to do this, I would just recommend picking a few colors and then not completely mixing anything. Rather dab your brush into the color you wanna use and then dab off some of the paint and then put down your paint stroke. That way you can have variation in between each of the colors you put down, and it's not gonna just be the same blobs all over the place. Anyway, this is kind of a lesson learned, hopefully for anyone, which is sometimes you're gonna drop your paintbrush and you can either freak out and fight against it, or you can just work with it and let it be. I mean, I can kind of relate this to my life. Like sometimes you're gonna lose a body part and you can either fight against it and hate what's happening and be frustrated, or you can let it be and, and go with it. And that's all life is, a series of events. Some are inside your control and some are outside of your control. But if you're gonna spend your time fighting every single thing that happens, I, I think it's gonna slow you down. So my recommendation is let things be as they are and go with them as you can. Anyway, as we get to a close here, I really do love the way it's turning out. Can't wait to show you the final shot. And I think I'm gonna do another similar type of painting in the future. And, ooh, I mean, just look at those colors. If you don't like it, tell me. But if you do, I mean, you can tell me that too. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping it up. We're wrapping it up, and we're wrapping it up. Personally, I wouldn't change a thing about it. How about you? Let me, let me know. You know, if you, you like the squares, cool. If you if you hate the squares, well, I don't know why you're still here. Anyway, <laughs> have a good day, guys. Thanks for coming by.